Hey guys, it's Justin from a mum 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 game index bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 tips and tricks video. But before I bring that to you, I'm just gonna say that I know that the the camera is kind of not straight all the way. Now that's like an error that I will try not to make in the future because the tripod was messed up when I set it up. But who cares? Anyway, today I'm going to be talking to. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm going to be talking about the best assault rifle in the game. Now, I know this sounds kind of T. Martin-y if you watch him, but it is, it's true, it's the Type 95. Yes, that's right, the Type 95, and I'm telling you why. Now, here's why. What I run with it is uh, the best, I think, uh, combo of attachments that you could have. Now, there are other good attachments like, let's say, Heartbeat and rapid fire, or rapid fire and red dot sight, but I like to go with silencer and rapid fire because that's just really awesome that way. Because you're silent and deadly, just like the farts, if you know what I mean. Now, I put a silencer on this weapon because I feel that I'm a ninja, so that's like what I do. I like to sneak up on people and stuff, not the creepy kind of way. That's not like in real life or anything. I'm just saying for the game, this is what I do. And I also, there's a pole in my way. Darn that pole. Anyway, <laughs> what I run also uh, as an attachment is rapid fire because my theory behind rapid fire is that if I put more bullets into their chest faster, then I can get done with them and move on to the next one. The first perk that I have running here on this class, which is my favorite class by far, is the uh, Sleight of Hand Pro. Now, regular Sleight of Hand, you all know what it does, but I'm going to say it anyway. It lets you... I'm sorry. My throat's really dry. Anyway, what happens with uh, Sleight of Hand is it lets you reload faster and faster and so on and so forth. But... Uh, what it does basically is uh, lets you reload faster, which I already said. I don't know why I'm doing this. But anyway, I'm telling you about the pro version of Sleight of Hand. I'm sure you all know this, but I'm still going to do that. It means that you swap weapons faster. And if you could see a couple seconds back or so, I took out my FMG9s and that whole flippy animation that I did. You know how when you take them out. Ooh, RPG. Man, that just like bruised me under the arm. That's kind of crazy. But anyway, that's what it does. And and the next perk that I have running on this class is uh, I have Marksman, but I'm also going to tell you about Hardline. I'm sorry, Hardline. Now, what Hardline does, I'm sure you know this, and I'm going to keep on saying this because I know that you have known this for a while, but Hardline lets you get a kill streak one uh, kill earlier than before. So, Let's say that I have a three kill kill streak reward, reward like a UAV. I could get that in two instead of three using Hardline. And with Hardline Pro, every two assists count as one kill. Or no, that's not right. I'm sorry. The Pro version it gives you a death streak. I think earlier. I'm not too sure about that. Comment about that if I got that wrong. But anyway. The third one that I got going on on this class is Marksman. Now, if you don't know what Marksman is, it is uh, one of the very first uh, perks that you could unlock when you uh, get Modern Warfare 3. Now, what this, uh, I'm sorry, what this perk does for you is it lets you see the enemy names above their heads when you're aiming down sight a uh, long ways away. So let's say I'm all the way across the map on dome and I'm looking up on the uh, rails where the rails are up high uh, near the top of the dome and I couldn't see them regularly aiming down sight but if you aim down sight with marksmen you could see that they got their uh, little name above their head so that's pretty good. And so the strike package that I got going on in this class is the specialist strike package and the reason I chose specialist and not uh, assault or support is mainly because it turns you into a super soldier. What that what I'm trying to say is that you have three set perks already, 
and then with this uh, specialist strike package you can get more perks and make you an even better person with more perks and more perks means more advantages that you have against other players so that that just makes sense right there right there that was pretty good right there that was a good kill and so the first one that I got going on for the specialist strike package as an added perk is recon now you see I just got recon or that was blind I am sorry recon what it does is basically in the description it ex uh, the any explosives even if you get a hit marker you don't have to kill them with a hit marker all you have to do is just get a hit marker on them with a stun or a flash or a concussion or whatever you call it or EMP I don't even care or frag some text you name it but anyway if you get a hit marker on them the the explosive damage paints basically on the mini maps of your teammates and so then they could see them coming in and whatnot and all that stuff and then um uh, I also got going on blind eye which makes you uh, if you didn't know what this does it causes the user to lack a glow in the thermal vision of player controlled items such as pred missiles or remote sentries and uh, attack helicopters also work they don't see you and so they won't shoot at you and also with AC-130s this is a great uh, perk to have or to be running while, while an AC-130 is out so let's say an enemy AC-130 is out and they see all your friends that they have the red boxes around them now you, they won't see your red box around you because you're running blind eye that's right blind eye that's what it does for you and the uh, if you want to get really sneaky with it which I did I ran assassin on my kill streak rewards now I get it after five but it's normally six I believe well that makes sense but anyway what uh, assassin pro does it basically just lets you it lets you basically just get away from a UAV so you can't be spotted if the enemy has a UAV or uh, an advanced UAV oh wow that was a fail and so this is right here you, you'll see I got this this guy final stand last stand whatever you want to call it but that was pretty good and I uh, this has been Justin here reporting from you and that's I hope you enjoyed it if you want to you can comment and tell me if I could do better next time what could I do to improve my commentary skills because I'm just starting fresh you know and I'm I really want to get this gaming channel noticed so tell your friends please because I really want this to happen I want to show you some awesome stuff and I got awesome ideas coming for you later so that's awesome and I'll see you later bye